Please tell us your name. Namalai, Ming Sundas. Ming Pamida Mingora, Sitting on Duce. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, asked us to record your experiences so that we can share your memories with many generations of the Tibetans, the Chinese, and the rest of the world. Your memories will help us to document the true history, culture, and beliefs of the Tibetan people. Do you give your permission for the Tibet Oral History Project to use this interview? Uh, Thank you for offering to share your story with us. Very happy that you are asking and giving me this opportunity. <laughs> During this interview, if you wish to take a break or stop at any time, please let me know. If you do not wish to answer a question or talk about something, let me know. Mm-hmm. Um, if this interview were shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? Uh, yes. It would be a problem? Uh, it won't be a problem. It's fine with it. It's fine. Thank mm-hmm. you. <laughs> we are honored to record your story and appreciate your participation in this project. Mm-hmm. Okay. Rinpoche La, please tell me uh, how old you are <coughs> and where were you born? Uh, Kesa <laughs> Chagubumbul the first of all, I was born in a village, uh, it's a, a district called Tingri, and the name of the village is called Langkor. And uh, the, uh, so the when the Buddha, uh, the Tingri, uh, Tingri is uh, uh, one of those uh, that you know we're gonna bet we're gonna record more of these in, in there. But uh, uh, he did a lot of uh, Buddha came in and then did a lot of those Pangputi, uh, uh, which are sixteen of those, and uh, sharing 
mm, pet. Uh, basically, it's one of those Buddhist terms that we will talk more in length right now. Currently, I miss most of those, but um, yeah, we'll talk more on that. Right now, currently, he's born in uh, Tingli, Tingli, and uh, the village name is Langko. And how old is Lama or uh, uh, Rinpoche Lao? How old are you now? Rinpoche Lao, how old are you now? Mm. Or what year? Rinpoche Lao, how old are you now? In as far as Tibetan calendar, lunar calendar is concerned, I am seventy-eight years 78. old. Seventy-eight. So you were born in nineteen thirty-five. Uh, this. Yeah. Uh, today, Chiu, na, Chiu, Sung, Chiu, Sung, like Chiu, or whatever. Oh. Chiu, Chiu, Sung, 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 Chiu, Okay, that's 1939, and he's 78? Yes, 78, yes, as far as Tibetan lunar calendar is concerned. Okay, so so if he was born in 78... Just Tibetan calendar, Okay, so we can just go with that. Okay, we can go with that, as far as the Tibetan calendar. So, can you tell us what did your parents do for a livelihood? Your family, what did mm. they do in that village? Did you langur la? Ani did you kab did you ani palam la chale kan langures? Palam mana shingba? Shingda ke? My uh, parents are, are farmers. Oh. Uh, yeah, basically you know live, raise, and uh, live by farming. I see. And how many children were in your family? Nang na la ani ke pu khazures. So oh, I have uh, two uh, uh, two of them, and there was one of them are just younger than me. Ah, so mm-hmm. you're the oldest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And oh, what kind of memories do you have of your childhood when well, you're a little boy? Mm-hmm. What can you remember about your life? Chung chung kabla ani mizizirwa di kari chem chema mangshu kari suidues. Mm. One of the things that he remember, uh, I remember very much <laughs> is my mother told me that uh, unlike other children who would just play games, uh, he would, uh, w- when I was a young boy, I would uh, meditate. Oh. And uh, I would uh, build up three pillars of stones and uh, I would uh, meditate, uh, which is very uh, quite different from mm-hmm. other young uh, mm. children. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what that was uh, told by uh, my mother. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, uh, the moment I was able to speak, my mother told me that, uh, you know, your mother, you should uh, get up early and uh, pray. And one of the, uh, the, the uh, Tama or the words that he taught the mother was uh, Om Amiri Dewa. Yeah. Om Amiri Dewa. Om Amiri Dewa. Yeah. So. Dewa uh, Jindu Jaya. Om Amiri Dewa. Dewa. Basically, uh, it's one of those uh, the words of Tantric uh, mantra. Om Amiri Dewa. And uh, wish that you born or enlightened mm-hmm. in the uh, enlightened uh, world. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 That's that w- that's what I recall. Uh, that was my mother told me. Yeah, mm-hmm. my. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, one of the things that I recall that my mother told me was uh, yeah, is oh, saying more than uh, Omanipemahu, which is the, one of the most popular, uh, I t- tend to say more of Omamiri Dewari Soha. Translate that second one, please. Omamiri Dewari Soha. Omamiri Dewari What does it mean? Amidemba. Amidemba. Amidawa Mandar. Amidawa. It's a mantra for Amidawa. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Amidewa. Amidewa Mandra. Yes. Say uh, that Amidewa Mandra is for people who don't know. Say that. Uh, was in a kari kari kui ores the kari des. Penas. Hmm. Ore. Madul dewa. Hmm. Tila sharsi. Hmm. Tila sosi. Hmm. Tila zuk. Hmm. Tila shang. Hmm. Tila u. Chunga. Tila pa. Penas. So, for, for example, uh, I'm standing right here, mm -hmm. and this is, uh, this is is, mm -hmm. and then the, we have was, uh, and we have is, and then we have uh, uh, the south, um, uh, the south, uh, uh, the uh, west, and then north. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, the, and then we are looking from the five direction. The five direction. <laughs> And then uh, upstairs, the, uh, the up blue. when you look up, it's blue. The sky uh, blue, the color blue color. Tell uh, So you know, there are five things that I just told you. They were called five different colors. Five different colors. And what is the prayer? Mm -hmm. Uh, so basically, there are five uh, different uh, uh, meanings to it, just the different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, so five, the, the, uh, five okay. elements. Five elements. One, one of the, on the uh, top is blue, uh, this uh, sky, and then. Uh, this is in. Shalla kaze. Uh, this red color. Me, me. Uh, pie, pie. This symbolizes the uh, fire. Pie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Here, green. 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 Okay. So green for the uh, the right. We have right, the green. Okay. 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 And is this a prayer to salute all of these elements, or is it to pray for all beings in these elements? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I love it. This is so <laughs> amazing. I'm smiling. Let me see. 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 Yellow, red as a red amidamba, green, green, amogashira, blue, berodana, jawarina, oma amidava, red amidava mandar. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I understand, yes, I understand the terms. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain later. Okay. <laughs> so, you were a very unusual child. What else? What else do you remember about your childhood? What else do you remember happened to you? Um, the the two chung chung shen ba da ma chao wa ane lama ki the chung bu chi ki bu chung chung ki nyam nyong the bing mi si we chap chung bu da ma chao wa shi du shi. Ah, shen ba chen ba su la ane kari chen ba su du shi. Shen ba chi ni ma wo ma tong ge ga la ge ba da ma ka ga cha ni. Uh, so when I was about to, uh, you know, the age where about a male piano, uh, uh, and my father and mother they separate. So at that time, uh, uh, I mean, um, since my mother and father separate, my father took me to a village named Pena. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would have been. He, uh, the time of milk, so he was done breastfeeding, mm -hmm. like three, four. Uh, the, uh, around that age. Around that time, uh, yes. his father took him to Penak. Penak, uh huh. Then our Lord Jay, who in the two in the 
لوق صار له ربع So when I was about eight or nine years old, mm-hmm. I would go look after the sheep and goats. Look for me. Then then, me the when I got to Mumbai, I could pull my hair and my hair and shave it and all that. Just change all that. Because I'm more me, I'm not look so so long good. So all the uh, young uh, children about my age. They would come after me, with me, and follow me, uh, and to basically uh, to look after the uh, sheep and goats. They would come along with. They come along. So then, then the doctor said they would look after the sheep. So we would uh, uh, stay on, uh, at the corner and uh, we would uh, uh, learn and uh, teach each other the tamas, the practice of tamas. Really? Mm-hmm. At that age, very different. Yes. At Eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Were you teaching the Dharma to the children, or were you all teaching each other? The Rimbuchile, two children, the Kunzo Lut Yakupla, Rimbuchi, Kunzula, Chusungu, the Kandere, Chusun, Chuka, she say, you mean the Chueta, Chueta, Toys the Masse, Toys Hose, Tom Mamboji, Tilbu, and both Tor Nana. So at that age, eight or nine, don't really know the uh, uh, reason or context behind it. But I would, I would teach them. Uh, the you know, uh, we do practice like this. You know, the uh, you know, the you just saw. You know, like that, that kind of practice. And then uh, you know, all the uh, young kids would you know uh, learn from me. Uh-huh. We would, although we don't really know the reason, but at that time we already had that kind of momentum mm-hmm. you know, at that young age. Mm-hmm. So then, eight or nine, and he's enjoying teaching gestures from the Dharma or activities. And then what happens to you after that? Ani di sila kunsula di chu chung chung yam do dinel na pa zul di ni chu su ora di si di si ani lo ge gu jen ani kari chi de chu chu zu zhe xie am zhong ma pu mo zhe ora mo la am zhong bu ma ni chu xie ge du zhe chu ko bu gu zu pa ma la xie ma zu la du li bu la an di chu ka na xie zu zhe pa ma gu zu mo am zhong mo gu kan zhe xie zu me am zhong la bu de la ni xie ge du ka xie ge ka ge <laughs> so uh, one of the the pomojunju de amjo yembare mara pomojunju amjo yembare ah so one of the girl uh, who you know that uh, girl is a deaf she can't hear but uh, you know rimbuchi would uh, teach uh, the, uh, and teach and tell her through her you know ears that she's blind would uh, you know tell her about the uh, dharma you know the church practice And then uh, all the parents and neighborhood uh, will say, "What is the, uh, you know what's going on?" And then uh, the, the young daughter will say, "La uh, Rimbuche, you know, t- taught me the Tamil teacher, but people don't really know uh, what is being taught because she's the dad." Yes, uh, interesting. Till 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 I'm moving. Then should should we gonna ask her? Uh, ask me more. Yes. Uh, Of course, a uh, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's, please tell me he's doing very good. Mm-hmm. Tell him that. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, yeah. uh, no, I, I want to understand more about, uh, like when he gets to be ten, eleven, twelve. What happens? Oh, the 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 Gunther, Lo Gunther, and it be been your toy, say. She are quite trace on a tenant, and I get the trace and I put to a legal out. So around that uh, 10 or 11 years old, uh, the uh, uh, brother of my father uh, uh, told me that it is, uh, uh, it is good uh, that if you practice Tama. So that's uh, I got into the legal out. So basically, it taught me how to read and write. Mm. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, I was uh, the moment I was being taught on how to read, and uh, I was told that I can uh, I learn really fast, mm-hmm. a quick, very quick, quick learner, and very intelligent. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, around the uh, around the age of twelve, I got into a very uh, uh, disease that almost died. Really. Uh-huh. Mm. 
So at that time, uh, around 12, there was a very high lama from Kham, Kham region. And what happened? And did you have a courage to raise? I didn't have a courage to raise. I didn't have a courage to raise. I didn't have a courage to raise. Oh, the name of the uh, High Lama from Kham is Nata Rinpoche. Okay. Nyingma. Uh, he's uh, uh, from Nyingma, uh, which is one of the uh, school of uh, the, you, know, you would know. Okay. Yes. Turning the power, Tanyi La, Tajuk La, Tsatsobanyi Ta, Tsatsobanyi Ta, Tsatsobanyi Ta, Kuyo Arangarangar Chuk, Tsitakbin Dam, Tsitakbin Dam, Tsitakbin Dam, Tsitakbin uh, so my father would take me, uh, you know, in a horse where there would be, uh, you know, the two side of it, the horse would be a stores, you know, and put, uh, you know, and then put me in the middle and would take me to the lama. To the lama go to the tree road. Come back to the left. Me the top of the sandung shimbo bubu tangi de. Ko tanga da kapto ya taro. <laughs> so uh, at that time, when uh, when we, we got to the gate of the you know location uh, of the lamas, and where it was uh, it reached to a, a time when they were also doing the tang uh, you know like tang mm -hmm. and then uh, it got uh, the horse frightened, and then uh, the horse threw me on the ground. <laughs> you were sick, and then you got thrown on the ground. They were blowing their their wonderful <laughs> horns, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for the time. I was in the house. I was um, luckily, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, na nothing major uh, uh, bad happened to me. I was alive, mm -hmm. and so since it was in the bundle of straws, you know, I was I fell down and fell on the position of uh, uh, like a fish. <coughs> so uh, uh, oh I, I survived. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So tell him that. Mm. Just continue the story. Uh, <coughs> so here, you know, they took me to the uh, lamas, uh, to the, the place where the lama is staying. Yes. Then Yes. Was not an unfortunate event. Yeah. It was actually uh, many, meaning that w when a throne was being, you know, uh, uh, and it sounds, uh, you know, the voice of the, you know, the uh, horn, horn yeah. the last of the horn, is actually is a good, uh, it's a, mm, has a good, uh, fortunate uh, incident mm -hmm. uh, because it symbolizes what he will be doing the rest of life. So it's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. So my father left me there and took my hair because you know Lama told me to practice Tama. Then for since from thirteen years old, I stayed with the Lama. Mm -hmm. 
Nasibura, Lamala Jasun Jesanja, Jusher Jamsuja, the Bumsum Tesajigla Sasum. So around that twenty years of war, Lama told me that one of the main reasons for practicing Dharma is to be the enlightened or you know, trying to find a way to reach enlightenment. So he, um, yeah, yeah, and then I, um, I was asked to uh, say a mantra, uh, the name of mantra that you probably heard uh, for uh, three hundred times of the, that particular mantra. That chamber boom sum sa sa ra. That chamber kujok jamal do subare. That chamber yongore. That chamber jivala yang lui zik batangore. Shat chang yat tinre. Um, sum tong se, ya chak um, sum da. So uh, the the first uh, the when I was told was the gamdo, I was told to read that for three hundred times. Now you have to clean the physical part, the physical part, and then I was told to do the three hundred times of those um chak. Yeah, chak. You lay, yes, yeah, yeah, you lay down. Only three hundred, not three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. I thought 000. that was a little easy. Yes, three hundred <laughs> is yeah. easy. Three hundred thousand. Yes, three hundred thousand. Thousand. Oh. <laughs> not three hundred. Three hundred thousand. Yes, I thought so. Okay. We, we know. Boom, boom, zah. Then Louis did what he had to do. Then Sim did what he had to do. Ikea. Bazasadu Bazasadu boom sum chisa, dancing in the room. Now the uh, physical part is being done. Now it's the mental, emotional. Uh, well, um, to, uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to reach that level of, you have to say a mantra of Toji Senpa, so Bazasada. Toji Senpa Mandar. Number of uh, 300,000. Uh, before you go on, I think it would be helpful for people to understand the, you know, the actual, what's it called, mm. chakra. Yes. How does it help the body? What is the purpose of mm. such an arduous mm -hmm. prostration, three hundred thousand times? Mm -hmm. What what is it? What does it do? Uh, from the, a from a dharma perspective, a Buddha perspective. Uh, the, all the you know sins that you have uh, created, uh, all the uh, you know all those physical things that you did, uh, those one will vanish. Uh, and you'll be clean. The uh, effects the, of them. Yes, from the physical ah, part of it. It's like doing mm -hmm. penance. Mm -hmm. It's like doing penance, like doing something very arduous, hard, to take away mm -hmm. the bad things that you've done with your body. Absolutely. Yes. I see. I think. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you just said. Mm -hmm. ハジスブナラチャワトクジャデネチカリチワナチャマサマスウィロアスオジイエスドワンユジセアイピオイエスエブスクリエスナウワトイスメンタルティングエンエンエモシティエンエモシティエンエモシティエンエモシティエンエモ
So, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, we have uh, each individual as hundred uh, God, and um, if, uh, and and also the in Mandarin we have uh, uh, you know fifty eight of those. Uh, uh, unlike animal, uh, the uh, if they, if you uh, kill uh, the human beings, uh, you are causing a lot of sin. Uh, because uh, those are, uh, you know, the human beings are, uh, uh, you know, more fortunate uh, uh, beings. Uh, so, uh, and so all these uh, individuals uh, have uh, uh, the gods behind us. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's one of the important reasons. And um, just to, so basically to, to purify, uh, you have to deal with all these gods. Uh, for example, uh, the, uh, the Buddha has his own uh, different uh, gods. And, uh, Guru <laughs> so there is no way I will be able to, you know, <laughs> explain each limit, but I will be, I will get a gist of it, but uh, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, all the, the, the he decides, you know, uh, each uh, individual all has a uh, hundred different gods, and uh, uh, so we, we have to deal with all those, and then the name of it is called Vikya. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, that's it's very important and it's clear, purify the mental state of it. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, okay. I mean, and these guys are helpful. Mm -hmm. These guys are helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These guys are helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shedang, Maja, Tadok Timu, Timacha is a classic mother. Maja Maj, Shedang Maj, Tadok Maj. So, what the punk, Tunga punks, Tlak on the mother. So, all these gods, they're actually, they're good, uh, good. Uh, they're gods. good, yes. Good uh, spirits, yes. They will, uh, they will block the five, uh, you know, uh, the bad uh, the nature that human beings have. Uh, ah. uh, there will be uh, jealousy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, They're protectors against mm -hmm. jealousy, jealousy. And greed, yes, uh -huh, yes. and All aversion, those, yes. and hatred. Yes, so five things uh, that, uh, so you do block. Yes. Block it, mm -hmm. I understand. So the Kubum Sana, Tungi Lamga, Tesem Zangma, 
Jim Bill's watching me, the Chamba the Ninja Jig. Yeah, so once you are able to uh, uh, reach a stage where uh, God, through the help of God, you block all those uh, the negative, uh, negative uh, elements, mm -hmm. and then uh, once you develop, uh, once you're able to block, you develop a sense of compassion and love for other uh, uh, oh, individuals. Does, does each person have a different set of a hundred gods, or do we share the same hundred? Yes. In each one of us, mm -hmm. there's a So you will have same hundred gods. I will have same hundred. Of the same of same ones. Mm -hmm. They must be very busy. Dinzo, had jadinzo pimisi the kesing on some of had jachi koyo na had dinzo pimisi we chila chimbo ingire es. Chila chimbo se. Te 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 chila mendi. Nuwa. Chila chila. Hansa hansa mi mambo le jabora uchin chila chila chimbo es. Hansa do. Sembra Kujota, Timur Luodan Hakta, Semgi Tim, Sembra Roche to Yes, so he, he's what, uh, he, uh, what I said was uh, that uh, those uh, important gods, they will, uh, will save uh, us from doing uh, bad deeds and uh, will, will protect us uh, in a situation where we need uh, you know, to experience the negative uh, aspects right. of it. So if, the, if, if there was a negative feeling of, of hatred, mm -hmm. what God would be the one that would help us against hatred? Uh, the one of the things that if you feel like you have a hatred for some individual, First thing you would do is you ask your own uh, heart or ask your own in Tibetan it's called sin. You would ask your own heart, uh -huh. and then uh, you you would uh, in the in the heart you would be uh, you know first you would have to uh, go through it and uh, this uh, element of it also you have to uh, reach that is called brain uh, and uh, uh, that will uh, probably associate pr probably and then uh, the only theory. But they have a same as Gongo. Tajini Sharon Roll, no chung Arabs. Terracuci, Quinici. Tas same Gora, when the Oshum door. Jado, do. Jado, what's in the English door? Tell or me same, patient. Tas same good boon, God do I sang a same by me there. Tell it, but what the Jado is such as a Jadu Jenny Yachu. So uh, once you have that, uh, you know, reach a uh, level where you will be able to uh, identify, uh, the, uh, you, know, con you know, contacting your brain, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and you will see which one is the, uh, or, you know, a better way to do. For example, if in the in the uh, ocean. Uh, this uh, you know, gigantic uh, fish, uh, and uh, that will be uh, associated with the brain uh, to it. Okay. Uh. So, um, does he want to continue the teachings, or do we? I want to ask what happens next in his monastery. What would he like to do? Uh, uh, whatever you say. <laughs> The gods are working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I just, you, you went to the monastery at a very young age, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, t at 10 or 11, so since 13, you stayed with the Lama. Uh, so how, how long did you stay in that monastery, mm -hmm. Rupeshera? <clears throat> 
<laughs> so um, I stay in the monastery from 13 to 17. Uh -huh. So I stay there for four years. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, the, I mentioned you earlier all the uh, teaching that I uh, yeah. you know, uh, did, all the mantras that I recite. Yes. I've been doing that for four years. Okay. So uh, around uh, 17, I spent uh, one year, uh, uh, you know, deviate a little bit from uh, monastery and I uh, went to help or serve Mapanga for one year. Ah. And then I returned in a monastery and then I was, uh, my Lama taught me how to uh, practice the chu. Uh, then he just did that. Practice the chu. Is, is that the dance? Uh, the What's the chu? Chu. The chu. 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 Uh, the Chu is basically, uh, you know, we have the five uh, the uh, uh, elements that yes. I discussed earlier, uh, and all you would uh, eliminate all those. Yeah. And so uh, once you reach a level where you uh, reach uh, some sound level, yes. and then you, uh, you know, it's basically a clean, a cleanliness of your own conscious. Mm -hmm. <coughs> once you reach that level, and you would be enlightened, and you would go by yourself, uh, mm -hmm. by alone. Mm -hmm. Go leave the monastery. Uh, the the mm -hmm. So uh, I, I would go alone to you know uh, the funeral uh, of the funeral as soon as soon as cemetery yes, yes. and to practice there but alone oh. but alone yes mm. to face the uh death mm. and mm -hmm. fears yes and fears of death mm -hmm. it's very uh, frightening at night you probably went mm -hmm. Uh, so during the daytime, I would, uh, uh, would go around and ask for food, yes. but I won't be talking. Mm -hmm. um, but at the night time, and then that's the way I would practice uh -huh. the, uh, you know, chu in the in the funeral or cemetery. Mm -hmm. And can he describe what the practice of chu is? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, chu uh, is the only thing that is the only thing that is the only thing that is Mm. So, the meaning of it will be um, once, uh, once when we die, our, our physical body will die. Yes. But our mental state, they will go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, uh, when you practice the Chu, you are uh, the offering to the God. Okay. Uh, the, uh, because the mental state will go on. You're offering all this, uh, whatever the, uh, that is necessary. To the God, they will offer to the God. Then, uh, to the So, uh, I uh, speak louder. Yeah, uh, uh, I uh, uh, about when I was twenty, I already have went. Uh, did the funeral uh, cemetery for uh, 108 of them. Mm -hmm. 
because uh, that's one of the very important and uh, I was very, uh, yeah, I accomplished that at the age of 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I stayed uh, with my uh, Lama's monastery till uh, 21 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. So at the age of 22, mm. yeah. so at the age of 22, my Lama told me that uh, you've been doing a great uh, you know, uh, job in, in the sense that you've been uh, already accomplished 108 of those uh, you know, funerals, and now it's time for you to go to Nepal and then uh, go pilgrim, in pilgrim, uh, and then uh, pilgrimage, and then uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, further you know, enrich the Dharma. So he advised mm. me to go to Nepal. Lama Nera Nepal Dronyungsa, Miya Konecha Shimudu, Chue Sem Jiva Mimitongne, Lo Arong Gomosum Nepal Nera Dronyungsa, Tirunga Dronyungsa Nera Nepal Dronyungsa. So my Lama told me that uh, I have been to Nepal earlier, and uh, I have uh, witnessed and saw them very nice people, and um, so you you will just do fine. Uh, and uh, at this age, even at young age, where you have you have the courage to face 108 of the uh, the, the, uh, the funeral uh, project, uh, you will just do fine. So go to Nepal and uh, and uh, go to pilgrim pilgrimage, and then uh, uh, we will be great for you. Mm -hmm. Was it, I want to ask something, the, what was the name of the monastery, um, Rinpoche Law, that you stayed in in Tibet? What was uh, that? The, uh, the, uh, that's right. Nata. 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 N-A-T-A? N-A-T-R-I, I believe. N-A-T-R-I. And, and uh, how many um, other monks were in this monastery? Uh, the the Gomba de la Ani Chawa Shemba Manglu Bi Manglu Five hundred of them. Five hundred. Lama Lama Chwe Nandu Ming Apja Dong. Yes. So when the uh, la, Lama gave uh, give us uh, teaching, they, we would have five hundred of them. And uh, how far was this mon was this monastery from Nepal? How far away? Uh, how many days? Uh, Lama Lama told me that uh, it's about uh, five hundred miles from Nepal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Lama told me that uh, it's about uh, five hundred miles from Nepal. Yeah. So the Lama told me that uh, it's about five hundred miles from Nepal. Yeah. So the Lama uh, so basically from that monastery to uh, the um, Nepal, yeah. it would take about uh, 10 days, mm -hmm. and uh, between 8 to uh, 10 days. Uh, from for Tatopani to reach Tatopani, Tatopani is the border between Tibet yes, and yes, Nepal. Yes. It would take about four days. So total of from uh, monastery to Nepal, I would say eight to ten eight days. Eight to ten days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by walking. By, by walk. walking. Yes. Right. Uh, okay. And was the what was the largest city near the monastery that he lived in? What would mm -hmm. be the largest uh, landmark? Pela Gumbadi <laughs> Uh, so just like the Polin village, you know, Polin, you know, just in you know, city, uh, you know, in that monastery, the one of the bigger one is called Sozo, and uh, in that Sozo, it's kind of big. There will be fifteen different, you know, small, small uh, villages, 
And if you go farther than uh, Suzhou, you will see Dingli. Dingli is also very big, and there are about so uh, seventy small, small villages. Really? Yeah. And uh, Rumpa Sheila, was there? If you were there until about age twenty-two, so you would have left around nineteen fifty-seven. Was it before Lhasa was attacked? Mm -hmm. Uh, Tibet, but I have not really uh, seen them yet. Not seen them. Was there any worry in the monastery about the Chinese coming into Tibet? Did you come to any the Gombana? Any that Yanali, Yanamaboli, do any Shinang Kul Shiru? Shinang or Shiru? Shinang she. Bidu Shinang she she she. Chamdo she 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 Tamili she Tamili she she. Today she go. My Lord, you say you. So um, at, at that uh, that uh, round, yes, you're right. There will be uh, fear and anxiety that the Chinese are coming. So the news is coming. People will say, "Oh, the China now the Chinese have reached Amdo." Uh, uh -huh. So we will be fear and anxiety. And my Rinpoche uh, told me to go to Nepal mm -hmm. and. Uh, he later passed away, mm -hmm. um, so um, I will be in Nepal. Y your Rinpoche was from Kham, is that correct? Rinpoche is from Kham. Yes, he was from Kham. Yes, he was from Kham. Yes, he was from Kham. And so, was, was the monastery where you stayed, was that a center of the, he was a Nyingma, Nyingma tradition? The uh, uh, Rinpoche, uh, the uh, Rinpoche is from Kham. Ani kunso di wajud chulu ni chulu ni macam mana? Nyingma paru es. Yes. Yes. It was Nyingma. So, so was the monastery where you lived with those five hundred monks? Is that what we said? Was it was it a center of Nyingma studies and training? Tanda di rambut chila kuna di Nyingma re sundu. Tanda di gamba di chang chang mitawa chama Nyingma chul chul es. Kapun Nyingma chul. Yes, everyone uh, studies the new oh, I the I the yeah, All the monks and monks, uh -huh. everyone yeah. studies the new yeah. yes. uh -huh. I'm just interested. Did did Nyingma teachers of the Nyingma tradition uh, were they were they mostly where were they mostly settled? Was that in Kham or in Lhasa? Where was that tradition flourishing the most? The Nyingma. Uh how could you chimbuchumus? So mostly the the Nima practices is in the calm area, the you know very wild, and then they will be the next one will be Lhasa. Uh, and so uh, the, the names that he have mentioned, uh, have mentioned uh, were uh, you know uh, the uh, part of you know the, those bigger monasteries, the west, the, the rich, uh, the practice of the Nyingma. Yeah. Um, Sheila, could you please, for people who may not know, describe what is the Nyingma tradition? What is the heart or the the major teachings of the Nyingma tradition? So one of the most important elements of Nyingma tradition is to 
uh, you know, uh, you were t taught to look at your own mind. Uh, and uh, when you look at your own mind, at the physical or, you know, the bad things being done by your own hand, uh, you know, you have your mind uh, empowers uh, the hand or the physical things that you're doing. So in a way, it's all in your uh, in a mental state. Of mental state. Mm. So one, one of the things uh, that I, I forgot to uh, you know, mention was that he also do a lot of meditation. But the most important uh, thing that I said earlier was the that uh, this more uh, which distinguish from other schools uh, would be the mental of it. Uh, if 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 your mental uh, if your mind tells you uh, the things that you are doing bad, and then one mind will say no stop that. If you're stealing something, your mind will say that's not good. And if you're doing something good, then your mind will say pursue it. You know that's a good one. So it's it's in the in the heart and mind. So there must be very important training for the mind then. Kisi, when you the same thing on us, the mind like the same thing on uh, so and you're right on that one. So when mm. we talk about the training in the mind, mm. mind in the mind, there was uh, you know we have the uh, reciting the all the mantras, mm -hmm. and that's just one of it. And then physically you do a and all mm -hmm. those. And so yes, uh, we do a lot of it involves a lot of training. So at the end of the day, before you uh, go to bed, you have to uh, look back to on your own day from the beginning to end. You ask yourself from the physical part of it, did you kill anything by your hand or, you know, and that's your one physical. And the, me uh, the mental, you ask, have you have, do you have a good thought? You know, what, you, what you, you know, all this thought just count, not just, you know, the activity, but also you know, thought counts, you know. And then what is inside your heart, are you thinking bad, you know. Mm -hmm. So all these are important elements that you have to really consider. And then if, if before you go to bed, you do whatever you uh, pursuing is for the greater good of all uh, essential things. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then you have to find a way of practice further if you, uh, if you are not doing well. You're not doing well. So, yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> so, um, so uh, the, uh, as I described uh, earlier, I mentioned earlier that if you are thinking something really horrible, or if you're saying something really bad from your mouth, or if you're doing some really bad physical activity by your own, uh, mm -hmm. you know, physically, and then you have to uh, realize that before you go to bed, and then uh, uh, you know, uh, s s say sorry, or you know, or just basically get in your heart, mm -hmm. and then uh, mm -hmm. do, uh, you know ask for the forgiveness and then you do a uh, chalk or you know whatever the necessity is and for the God who is uh, apologize. Apologize. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to, it is a daily practice. Daily morning, practice. Yeah, yeah. Every day yeah. uh, before you go to bed, yeah. evening, you uh, you do the same thing. Uh, uh. Is, there a, is there a meditation? That you also do, uh, like a real mm -hmm. silent meditation mm -hmm. in the morning or at night that you mm -hmm. recommend? No, the 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 the
or the meditation is uh, yes you do but uh, it's also good if you do in the morning so in the morning the moment you uh, open your eyes you should uh, see that oh I should not sleep you know for the greater good of humanity and for the uh, whole sunny beings uh, you know I should rise up and do meditate mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, you have to, uh, you know, film uh, from a uh, film of uh, from your mind. You have to think the uh, brighter, the uh, white uh, of it, rather than the dark uh, elements. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, so when you when you see it, uh, meditate, uh, there are uh, seven uh, part of it. There are different seven postures that, that involves in, in meditation. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the leg part, you just fold it just like that. Mm-hmm. The bones or you know the, your back bone straight, uh, straight forward, that's the second. Uh, the, your hand stay like this, that's the third. Uh, your f- your uh, shoulders stay white and broad, you know, that's the fourth. Mm-hmm. Your neck, uh, you stay a little bit closer with the tall, mm-hmm. and that's the fifth. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, Mm. Oh, you, you have to do like that, uh-huh. and uh, that's the six. Mm-hmm. At the top mm. of the mouth? Mm. Uh, the agility, uh, yeah, color yeah, table. Yes, you're right, yeah. Uh, you put it in, yes. So that's the six. Mm-hmm. So you, uh, your eyes, you look at the uh, top of your nose. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the seventh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, these are called the seven steps, or seven uh, things that are involved uh, in meditation. Mm-hmm. That's just the physical part of it. Now, once you do practice, uh, you know, follow all these steps, you, you, uh, your physical will be in a very clear or you know, a, a conscious manner. Uh, once you have that in a really good, great posture, mm-hmm. you brain or the mental part will be alert as well. Uh, so, so now in a great uh, mind, um, a great posture, you were able to uh, visualize uh, all the uh, gods uh, in your, through your mind. Oh, so there are, you know, uh, there are nine uh, bad breaths you uh, let mm. them out. Two mm. mm. The the uh, one of them uh, doji mm. one of your hands is just like doji. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh well put your uh, you know just uh, let it close. Mm. Let it, let it go, go from the other side of mm. your nose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, in, in a way, it's kind of symbolized that uh, one of the red bird goes away mm-hmm. mm, from that nose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that's, uh, you know, what it symbolized that uh, the bird is the uh, desire, all the things that you want, you know, uh, the things bad or the material things that you need, that, that that's something that we don't really need. So it symbolized it will go away from the mouth, you know, from the nose. Sure. That you have to do a, a bigger one, <coughs> just a. Can you away the It will just Boy. some kind of some kind of uh, insect will go away. Can you miss mark up tree drops and what I say condors again? They never don't go song. So the the you know the insects uh, when when the, you have this uh, really bad. Uh, uh, thinking in your uh, mind, saying, oh, kill that person, do this bad deeds. So that, those, all this negative uh, you know, uh, activity will go away. 
So something a little bit uh, less, uh, you know, stent, you have to do that after the big one. Uh, some kind of uh, uh, clouds, but in the kind of white form, will, will, will uh, come from that. So for all these, uh, some all the bad disease that you want to have, uh, you know, the you know bad heart, the, the bad brain, or you know, as the, you know, the poor mm. heart uh, will will go away. Uh, you, will, you have to symbolize or think that in the uh, mental state. Yang okay. mm-hmm. That's a three. Uh, three. three. Yes. Yeah. Sure. From the other side, you have to do uh, the uh, again. Uh-huh. Do uh, Sneak. Uh, 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 oh, snake. Oh, so uh, there's a blue snake. Yeah. You have to visualize. Uh, side. Visualize yeah. a blue snake. Blue snake will uh, come out from that uh, mm-hmm. other side of the uh-huh. mm-hmm. 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 So when the uh, snake represent with his eyes wide open, always wanted to what others have, mm-hmm. you know, a sense of like oh, uh, you know, willingly greed, a huge greed, and uh, you know, desire to uh, greed, you know, willingness to have what other people don't have or what you don't have. Mm-hmm. Uh, those when you do that, the blue snake will go from uh, going away. That you know all those. Yes. So when when that uh, you know you were able to visualize properly, that went away, then you won't have that much greed. Uh, one we always have. Mm. Now you have to do a little bit bigger one. Uh, is, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, at that time, uh, what happened was you have to visualize a uh, girl who has uh, his her uh, hair all you know, scattered around. Also, the the the, uh, the uh, woman with the hair all you know not in a good prop prop way. Last. Yes, it will go away, and then all the greed and all those bad uh, elements Mila. will go away. As well. mm. 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 Was mm. modern uh, So there was, uh, you know, there are two different uh, bad, uh, you know, uh, one podun jebo, podun jebo, podun jebo, and the modern jemo uh, jemo is the uh, the, 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 the woman who is the same, you know, devil, the uh, devil, the, you know, all headdress. Yes, mm. and then were mm-hmm. all your uh, the, you know bad uh, nature that one have the greed. Will, uh, will we'll go also, away. Yes. Now you have to do a last one, probably the small one. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, you, uh, so bird will uh, emerge. Mm-hmm. 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 So the, uh, in the last one, all the uh, disease the one has, mm. the lower part of the body, mm-hmm. uh, will, uh, she, she will take it along mm-hmm. with her. Mm-hmm. Or that, uh, you know, the last one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now your, uh, your mind and uh, your physical now all in the uh, clear and conscious uh, manner. So one, in order to have a long life, a prosperous life, you have to uh, uh, take in 
the good uh, you know, bread. Shanelung mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, From this, uh, there's a white uh, uh, weight. Wing. Lelung mm serong. -hmm. Uh, from the uh, south, there's a yellow uh, weight. Tadi karola, shulung karose. From the uh, white. The, the east said uh, the what I just mentioned the east uh, uh, water uh, water and wind yellow uh -huh. mm -hmm. white white uh, uh, the wind uh, and uh, yes soy lungo sada doy lung lung servo y long so the south part is uh, stone and uh, the, uh, the uh, soul, basically, it's all in the uh, yellow. Nukilung, meilung, meilung, lung marwongar. The note which I mentioned earlier, it's uh, the f you know uh, it comes out in the uh, the red, which symbolizes the fire. Changilung, mm lung -hmm. lung lung jangmongar. The west uh, wind green. comes out in the green color. Mm. The one from the sky, the from the top, mm -hmm. this comes out and from the sky uh, color, the blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, the uh, the five uh, the uh, from directions the different color all these are really good. You just uh, from these uh, uh, the nose. It will all, uh, you know, come out in the sink, mm. and uh, from the uh, just like that, you know, it just comes out from these elements and from the uh, all over part of your uh, uh, the above part of the body. So basically, it comes out naturally. These are really good that one one individual needs to have a clear and conscious mind. Mm. So the meditation involves the uh, just like the ball, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the part of it is from the below and part of it from the uh, above. So just kind of hold it uh, for a uh, for, um, period of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you're able to hold that breath, what is the same the time you you know, the focus, your mental uh, focus will uh, remain. Because mm -hmm. if you if you mm -hmm. were able to hold that. Same good time, I tell you, you will not be able to do it. 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 So once you're able to focus, uh, help, really great uh, focus, with your mind focus on that breath that you're holding. Uh, once you're that, uh, able to um, uh, you know, reach that, then you're able to uh, distinguish which God uh, you know, that you, uh, you know, want actually praying uh, with the Buddha or you know, with the, the God that you're praying from. Then you're able to distinguish which one is good, which one is bad properly. Give <laughs> <laughs> so the so key, key, reason, uh, key reason behind meditation is when you are able to uh, 
or focus uh, the uh, the, uh, the good, the, the, you know, to focus, the, take the good in, the, take the good ones, and uh, you know, leave away the negative ones. And then when you are able to focus and be trained to do the good things and uh, you know, uh, eliminate the bad uh, deeds. Yeah. So you have to do that practice in the morning. Thank you. That's a very good instruction. Mm. 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 Uh, I mean, um, so in the uh, 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 so in the, that's you do in the morning. Okay. But in the in the in the in the afternoon and then you uh, there's other other yes, to do. and uh, you know, so that's in the uh, talk okay. that you do in the in the, uh, in the if, if if we can uh have time at the end, we'll ask for some more. Mm -hmm. But I guess I would like to go, and something happened to Rinpoche when he left, mm -hmm. when he left Tibet. Mm -hmm. He went to Nepal, and I, I would like to find out a little bit mm -hmm. about his story, because we have about another half hour to go. Mm -hmm. And I want to not miss mm -hmm. his, his story. It's a very mm -hmm. interesting story. Mm -hmm. And so the teachings would take many mm -hmm. months mm -hmm. and years, mm -hmm. but, but his, this is the only time we can get his story. Mm -hmm. So please explain that. From, Thank okay. you. Uh, the uh, the uh, 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 Ojano <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what he just told him, uh, told, uh, told that is that I think he was uh, earlier he was uh, teaching, uh, uh, explaining to you all the teachings that I received from right uh, from the uh, you know uh, from the uh, uh, teachings from uh, you know from uh, like from initially came from India you know, yes. Buddha, and then from Kanto uh, 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 all the names names that I I'm trying to write it here but it's so long. But basically, uh, the, the lineage, yeah, lineage, all lineage, the lineage, 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 Tanda Anik <laughs> So uh, around that age, uh, 22, uh, I've been staying there uh, for a little bit, and then uh, I wanted to go back, return to Tibet. 
Uh, but uh, you know, I he I'm heard a lot of uh, sad stories yeah. uh, that I deal with. You know, uh, at the time, you know, that when the uh, you know Chinese occupation came in, I hear many from many people say the monasteries are being burned. Yeah. Uh, the uh, you know peoples are being being killed, and the, there's no right to practice. So I was scared mm -hmm. at the time to return to uh, Tibet again. <laughs> Damanda showers in Pebat of the Swiss Nora. Call him Mulla Longa day. And so uh, at the Nepal, uh, uh, people who just look like, uh, you know, in the, the different uh, kind of people, Damang, okay. Shaba, and I uh, you know, live with them and uh, with Nama, Tama for five years. Were you in a monastery or just in a, in a neighborhood? Uh, did you, uh, the Pahula Longa Shue Kabla? So at that time, in Norman, we don't have any monastery. Uh, when people ask me to come and uh, you know, uh, do a teaching for them, I would go uh, to the house. But uh, I have only a very small house at that time. Pebago so um, when, I, uh, when I was in, uh, in Nepal, uh, living there for five years, and at that time, a lot of Tibetans are coming from Tibet yes. now. The, you know, so, uh, the situation in Tibet right. is being intense. So they would come um, to uh, Jualakel, yeah. uh, that, that I was there. And um, at that time, uh, the, the Tibetans are being, you know, they're drinking uh, oil, tea, tea. And so at that time, and I would uh, go to the house. So basically, uh, yeah, I stayed there in that, uh, the, the Jualakel area. Okay, what area? Uh, Jualakel. 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 Uh, at that camp, uh, initially, it was very small, yeah. small but it became big. Yes, yes, I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. It's a Tibetan camp. Ah. Mm. Where did your teacher, your teacher said you should go to Nepal. Mm. So where did he, was he supposed to go in Nepal when his teacher sent him mm -hmm. to Nepal? Oh, the, ลามะเนี่ยกําบสีดัวเพราะมันตามมาเลยจริงๆตัวสาซังโกโดเจพามาเลยตัวสาซังโกเนาะมีคลิกเลยจริงนะอันนี้ซูเอ่อเอ่อ
because of the uh, because the invasion continued. Yes. That's right. Sanjay Jam Nindwa. Sanjay Jam Nindi Che Tapi Jewang up the Mada Jewang up the Jewa Mamboshe Che 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 of, uh, some of them are good and uh, some of them are bad, uh, but later he came up in the form. Uh, the two of them, 500 good, 500 bad. Mm. Oh, so uh, after you know, 500 good ones and 500 bad ones, he came out as a uh, the uh, prince of the Bhaktapur, uh, the one of the village in Nepal. King. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, the Buddha, the, no, no, the, uh, the, uh, the king has uh, three sons. The oldest uh, one is called the, uh, the uh, big god. Okay. The 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 second one is called the the the, is the uh, popular one, popular who is very popular. Yes. Uh, third third one is uh, somebody who is very brave, brave one. The Kogam Jawi Pula Pusum Je Kogam Jawi. So the Kogam Je Kogam has three three uh, prints. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, older, the oldest one uh, the, uh, was uh, the reincarnation Jawa Chambiduwa. Jawa, Jawa Chambiduwa. Okay. The popular one is the reincarnation of Manjushin. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the brave Shakyatuwa. one is the reincarnation came in the form of Shakyamuni. That's the three uh, the uh, prince who were just roaming around in the forest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the, what they witness is uh, uh, the uh, old tiger uh, and uh, she's about to die, but I witness all the five uh, the uh, cup of the uh, tiger almost dying due to hunger. The five cubs, yes, the babies. Cubs. Yes, uh-huh. five babies of the uh, tiger almost dying because mm-hmm. of lack of food. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, the Shakyamuni, the, 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 the youngest one, uh, the, who came in the form of Shakyamuni, the brave, who, uh, you know, the, mm-hmm. and he said, "Okay, so I am going to willing, willing to sacrifice my life for these uh, cubs, uh, babies, so that they won't die." Mm-hmm. And so he he wanted to, and he he did that. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, he what he did was he prayed that, that he wanted to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the, uh, since due to the sacrifice of the uh, youngest one, uh, the, uh, who came in the form of Shakyamuni, uh, you know, uh, gave away his body, body to the little uh, babies, uh, and then they were able to survive and they uh, rise up. Mm-hmm. From then, the Shakyamuni tung pu tung. So the Shakyamuni, namshe. So the 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 the, 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 the mental or the you know soul of Shakyamuni went around to Tibet and then uh, to. Jaga jaga pula. Oh, the the you know uh, it, uh, it was came up in the uh, in the form of prince of the uh, king of uh, the uh, the uh, India. Of India, mm-hmm. yeah. India. Mm. 
se şahdemuni. Adı kim? Seydan. Yes. Seni şahdemuni ciklerle nimbo mi vaha kone. Seni lotu kava deniz. Mizi disin şah, lotu. Şahdemuni. So the Shakyamuni, uh, uh, okay, you know, he's the prince of the one of the, uh, uh, the prince of, you know, the son of the one of the king yes. of the book. And what he has realized is there is no meaning in in life. Uh, you know, there is uh, there is suffering, so much suffering in life. Mm -hmm. And so he decided to, uh, you know, uh, pursue the Tama path mm -hmm. because he, he already realized, the, you know, yes. the meaning of life. <laughs> So for six years, the Shakyamuni, probably in the form of you know, thinking to Buddha, but uh, he uh, for six years, just a little bit of uh, rice, you know, and that size of food, he, he took that for six years, and he meditated. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the, the mother, the, at the time, the Tagi, uh, who, who came uh, in the of, uh, life of a mother, uh, the, of uh, one of the uh, individual at the time when Buddha was, uh, the, you know, Shakyamuni was uh, meditating. Mm -hmm. He came as one of the women mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah, so uh, the mother, the woman, yeah. uh, and uh, so that there was a, some some individual is uh, you know pr doing a meditation and uh, pr practicing, and he's very skinny, and someone told uh, her about that. Oh, so uh, the once uh, she heard that story. Uh, it's very touched her and moved her, but also at the same time very worried the well-being of that individual. Mm -hmm. And so she told uh, she told them, "Where is that person? I want to see." Mm -hmm. So those individuals who uh, you know they were actually sh uh, shepherd who look after the uh, you know, sheep and God. So they took him, uh, took her to the uh, Buddha. So uh, the Buddha, uh, you know, now was earlier in the incarnation of Shakyamuni, was in a meditation, meditation mode, and was closing uh, his eyes. Mm. <coughs> So the um, mother, a woman who actually has her own uh, 1,000 uh, cows, and said, I have 1,000 cows, and I will bring the you know, uh, product uh, through, uh, make them uh, soup from the milk of the cows. So I'm going to bring them. Please take those. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, Buddha uh, you know, uh, didn't say anything, but he kind of nodded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, the 900 of those cows were not given a water for uh, just to, uh, and then uh, the uh, other rest of it, they will have a water. Mm. So the next day, the, uh, you know, a few days later, the 90 of them were given water, but uh, uh, not given water, but the rest of ten were given water. So there was some kind of uh, deep looks to have. Come oh. So the uh, you know oh see you see the so they were uh, 
first they were initially there were uh, 1,000 cows, and so 900 uh, of them were in milk and given to the, uh, you know, not given, so they milk and given to the next uh, 90 of them, and the 90 will milk it and give it to the 10, oh. so there will be uh, so much power in the, oh, uh, you know, in the end yeah. to the one, uh, yeah. and, and one, and then, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that uh, one uh, mm. cow has a milk and power of so many uh, mm. you know, thousands of them in final product were given milk in some of uh, in the form of soup and provided and uh, give to, uh, to Buddha Shakyamuni. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the woman uh, who said, I have, uh, what I did was the, you know, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the process where thousands of milk go to 100 and 100 milks go to 10, 10 will go to 1. So the, the final, and so it's, it's a very pure and it's very strong and please uh, take it. And if you take it, you will, uh, you know, come back in the good form. And because he was so weak uh, for you know not eating for so long, six mm-hmm. years, mm-hmm. and uh, so now if you take this, you you come back strong. strong. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, so when the Buddha uh, uh, you know g- pro- uh, provide her uh, the bowl, and she g- gave the uh, you know the soup of the milk. And it's actually fit right exact, uh, as if as if like they already kind of frame, you know, mm-hmm. like but yeah, it come out exact. Exactly. Uh, yes. So he took uh, um, <coughs> soup and then he <coughs> Mm-hmm. So the, the important uh, part of it is that the, uh, uh, the mother of the uh, then basically the tiger uh, was uh, initially the Buddha, uh, you know, give his own life yes. uh, to tiger, right. um, and it, you know babies were able to survive. Mm-hmm. Now the mother. Uh, you know, came back you know, as a mm-hmm. form of, uh, you know, uh, the owner of 100,000 uh, cows. Mm-hmm. So uh, provide the same service, came out in the back to him, you know. So that basically shows that if you did something good to mm-hmm. other individual, you come back. So that's why it was uh, being symbolized. That's the symbol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's when uh, you know Buddha now come back in a really proper mm-hmm. way, and then he t- uh, taught the uh, you know and uh, teach the uh, Buddha's uh, mm-hmm. teachings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then, and then we went back to Varanasi. Uh, you know, there were the uh, you know Varanasi. Uh, yeah, Varanasi followers. Ah, yeah. I see. Yeah, so more questions. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to. He's got to. Then, Minister Lap, just had some bad and young. Minister Shui Song Rosie here. Then, Sanjay Jam, then the Song Sip the Kasin and the. So the, the, the you know the uh, the uh, the god you know Tsangba and Yachi told um, uh, him to teach the Buddha's teaching to the followers, but there were like five specific followers who would actually follow him wherever he goes, like wherever Buddha goes, and Buddha would tell uh, tell them you know don't follow me, 
you know, and they would they would say, I want to be just like you, or you are enlightened one, and we want to be just like you. And he would say, no, because you won't be able to survive the way I did. I is, I have no, I have no place to stay. I have no clothes to wear. I have. Uh, uh, survive by eating, you know, stones and just, you know, whatever, you know, that just anything I get, you won't be able to survive. So don't follow me. Mm. Oh. So those five followers were the, uh, the uh, actually the five babies, the babies. tigers. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So in, in one of the teachings, uh, called, uh, Dom, Domang, they were say uh, basically you know talks about the you know, how the you know, the cups and uh, how the five monks uh, you know those followers related. It was all in the uh, Buddha's teaching. Mm-hmm. Two <laughs> Lam So basically, uh, if you uh, in the Tibetan, uh, the um, one of the uh, important Buddhist uh, dates was the fourth uh, of June in Tibetan lunar calendar. That's when uh, the Buddha first start teaching the. Uh, and do he initially first taught to the five, yeah, the five, five the, the five followers, oh. and yeah. uh, that's uh, one of the uh, important dates in Tibetan, uh, in Tibetan or just the Buddhist, uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. the, uh, the uh, dates because that's the initially the one where he start teaching. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rinpoche Long, I want to thank you for that story about the Buddha, mm-hmm. and and all the teachings in that story. But now I would like to ask you to tell us more about the Buddha Dharma and things that you think would be important for people to study or things that have helped you in your own life about the Buddha Dharma. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, so for the whole uh, Seddon Bay, human base, uh, in order for the betterment of the whole Seddon Bay, you have to uh, leave the negative uh, uh, aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, for the for uh, all the uh, you know for the uh, uh, Fields, mountains, uh, you know, land, uh, you know, for the environment, basically for the whole environment, one have to protect the uh, environment. Mm-hmm. No, uh, so there are a lot of uh, negative things that is going on around the world, mm-hmm. and so in order to protect these, uh, one need to take responsible and to, to protect all the. Uh, Environment. Uh, so once you protect that environment uh, from uh, negative uh, things and have them develop a positive, uh, you know, elements, uh, 
and then uh, because in that uh, environment, living a lot of uh, living things, uh, you know, that's uh, living and general beings are surviving in that. And if you uh, protect those, uh, those uh, living beings will be able to live in a pros prosperous mm -hmm. and happy mm -hmm. manner. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So if you were, uh, you know, uh, protect them, the environment, you know, yeah, you protect them, uh, you know, and, uh, have the, some kind of uh, compassion and to <coughs> them, and those were uh, the bigger want, uh, bigger uh, animals or bigger gender beings want, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the disappear or no, no, not just disappear, but also they will uh, 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 protect the, or the younger ones, uh, protect the smaller ones, and they will not give a force to the negative force to the uh, smaller ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if, there's a, if there's a love, prosperity, uh, and uh, uh, have a positive among all the seven beings, and even if it's a country or even if it's a village, you will be able to remain in a uh, uh, close circuit in the, with the uh, you know you live as a one family for you know form. Then you got that child man, same age, same age, same age, same age, same age. Then no, she no, no, she age, non same age, so she no age, same age. Yeah, if there's uh, one, if one is able to develop a good, uh, kind, compassionate uh, love and no jealousy and hatred uh, among uh, all the uh, you know in environment in the environment, and then um, there will be a good uh, you know a positive uh, uh, life uh, in that region. Mm -hmm. All those uh, you, you one is able to attain all these by uh, you know uh, abstaining the negative uh, the uh, part of the life i think mm -hmm. there are two kind of uh, you know part to it the, the one is that is coming from your uh, mind is there is something that you are able to feel from your mind the one that the other uh, element is the one that is coming or is uh, related to the physical part if you if you if someone is hidden or if someone hit you uh, that's uh, you know it's gonna hurt you that's now that's the physical part of it mm -hmm. you have to uh, you have to stop or you have seen from uh, harming an individual from the physical part of it mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. So the man, uh, the uh, another one that is important is the mental part, uh, where uh, you know one you can uh, develop some kind of uh, love and compassion from the mental, uh, from not just the physical. Suppose if you see a blind person, you don't tell them in front of your face or behind. You're blind because other person is going to feel it and going to get hurt. So you have to have or uh, develop uh, uh, love and compassion for the, from the uh, mental part. Mm -hmm. So if you abstain from harming uh, uh, central beings from the physical and the mental uh, elements, you are able to develop a kind, a white, uh, pure uh, soul. Once you develop that uh, great uh, compassionate white soul, and then you will have uh, uh, you know, the compassionate, uh, the pure version of it. Uh, so once you have that uh, develop the compassionate, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the stronger beings uh, will have a compassionate, and they won't bully uh, the, uh, the uh, smaller and the older and the poor ones. The one uh, who is uh, wiser and the one who is have the more physical power, uh, once you have that uh, 
white, uh, you know, the pure, compassionate, uh, they will help uh, the the strong, uh, the the weaker one. What's the Changzhuk same? That kind of the uh, pure form is called the um, the, uh, the the state of mind where you reach the Changzhuk Semba. Uh, probably, yeah. Same thing, same thing. You like Changzhuk Semba, Jena. Tell us about the Shizhen. If you have that kind of compassionate and love, uh, if if the, all the settled beings have that kind of uh, kind, compassionate, the Changju Simba mind, the, uh, the ne, probably a Nirvana mind, and then you, all this, uh, settled, all this world will be a, a pure uh, world where there won't be harming and mm-hmm. won't be, uh, you know, non-violence uh, uh, world. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what, what we need to develop. Uh, that kind of white uh, Changju uh, Simba, uh, the mind of uh, Nirvana uh, kind of mind. Changju Simba, then Pemba mind will never change. Once you develop that kind of com- kind, compassionate, the Changju Simba mind, uh, you will always think about uh, helping others, not uh, harming, and you will never develop, uh, you know, the ne- negative uh, uh, parts of it. Then the Batsewa man, Simba, Simba. Mm-hmm. So once you once you had developed that uh, Changju Simba mind, uh, it's pure. And, uh, you know, uh, you won't be all the living beings will be uh, you know live uh, happily. Even if you eat something, uh, it will taste better. Uh, um, so you need to develop that kind of uh, mind. Oh, Changju Simba, in. Mm-hmm. So if, 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 even if you are king, but if you have, if you don't uh, possess that uh, kind, uh, compassion, changes in my mind. Even if you're king, when you go to bed, you won't have a good dream. When you eat something, you won't have, a, it won't taste well. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's very essential. To develop that, no matter who you are. Me, same as Samro, no rules in the tongue. So there are some individual we all uh, think uh, in at, at time we have tendency to uh, think or you know uh, uh, feel uh, negative things. Bembo ina jawa ni sige. Me same as kora jala sige. Me same as makja me mouse. Mm-hmm. So even if you're king, uh, the one uh, the one of the uh, desire for a king king is to uh, you know rule the land and uh, uh, you know uh, for his own name he would do things that would harm uh, uh, or harm a lot of people. But when you think about it, you know uh, even if you're king, you can't live forever. One day you have to, uh, you know, leave this uh, world. So uh, again, um, he wanted me to know that he, he nobody can stay forever. So, rang me wa dang mi me wa dang samlo no ni mi maritin turo da wo doctor wo sit down. So if you if you can't develop that kind of uh, mental uh, statement where you can, uh, you know, the pure white, uh, that's the human beings have a tendency. To develop that kind of uh, brain, mm-hmm. while on the other hand, the animals, uh, that's why they're called animals, because they can't uh, develop, or at least in this life, they can't develop that. So, you say, you mean the training ball? So, you can't get it, 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 you can't so the theme of the Buddha's teaching, uh, you know, the, the two things that he just mentioned, uh, the Gyawa uh, Chamba, uh, and uh, so what he says, uh, the most important of the Buddha's teaching is the kindness and compassionate. Uh, those are things that one need to develop. What is the religion that same So um, once you have that um, kindness, compassion, kind of mind 
for all the anybody who wants to you know, reach that level, uh, even in the environment, uh, even because you're going to help you know, or do whatever is good for the greater good, and then it will be a uh, uh, you know, dwell of sound in you know, some manner. Type in this. No, now I'm. I'm <laughs> Now yeah. we begin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. know, the Thank you. 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 Uh, the, the, uh, the um, real conscious yeah, that come from that you know that uh, uh, the, the, yeah that incident of the tiger mm -hmm. where he gave his life yes that in awareness mm -hmm. uh, Rinpoche uh, thank you for your beautiful teachings mm -hmm. and I hope that that we can put them into practice mm -hmm. and that we can share this teachings with the world mm -hmm. as we plan to do mm -hmm. and especially to the uh, the Tibetan children mm -hmm. <laughs> and their children, mm -hmm. and to everyone that we can share this with mm -hmm. through uh, the internet and, mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, the, uh, Rimbucci, <laughs> So you one has to constantly pray uh, for the uh, uh, you know uh, so that all the uh, individuals, uh, sentient beings, uh, remain you know, you know won't be suffering you know yes. so that uh, you know they won't be suffering for all the sentient beings. You constantly have to pray that. Mm.